Hey, this is Nick Green from Daily Extra, and we are talking to Peter Kinnett from sunny Los Angeles, where he's there for the Oscars. Hi, Peter. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Oh, pretty good. So uh, tell us, what's gay at the Oscars this year? Uh, well, the Oscars are, you know, always just kind of gay in themselves, but there's the... <laughs> There's a lot of uh, specifically gay things about this year's Oscars. Uh, Bette Midler is performing. I guess that's probably the, the gayest thing of them all. Um, and uh, so is Adina Menzel. She's performing the song from Let It Go. And I think it's mostly about the music that uh, is specifically gay about this year. But there's also a few um, queer interest films that are nominated. Dallas Buyers Club. Um, which will probably win Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor. So let's let's talk about those queer con nominees. Um, we have uh, Jared Leto uh, for Best Supporting Actor. Is there much buzz down there around all the controversy to do with you know a non-trans actor playing that part, or what are you hearing? I mean, I I, I personally am not a fan of, of Dallas Buyers Club and and definitely question many things about it. But it doesn't seem like that's sort of uh, spilled over into the mainstream press here. Um, I don't think that Oscar voters really are considering that. Um, the fact that, that uh, you know, trans actors could have played that role or the sort of questionable nature, uh, at least in my opinion, of the film itself. Um, and uh, the fact that both Matthew McConaughey and Jared Leto sort of failed to mention uh, AIDS yeah. <laughs> in their, their first uh, major speech they made this year. And I clearly, the publicist gave them a memo after that and they've been mentioning it since. But it just, you know, the insincerity of them, to me personally, seems quite clear, but I don't think that Oscar voters seem to feel the same way. So. Mm. Now, Jared Leto's been pretty much sweeping all the other awards. Do you see him taking it on Sunday? It would be a huge upset if he didn't win Sunday. Same with McConaughey. They yeah. seem to be sort of, uh, they've won everything so far, so. Mm -hmm. If Matthew McConaughey has a major competitor, who is it? Uh, Probably Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, he's never won before. I mean, neither is Matthew McConaughey, but Leonardo DiCaprio has been nominated uh, his fourth time. And a lot of people, uh, there's billboards all around Los Angeles, even that I've seen so far, that, you know, we're talking about how it's his best performance. And um, there is a little bit of buzz that he could end up upsetting, but it would be a surprise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what about Philomena? It's being pretty well represented, and it has a nice gay uh, plot line there. Do you see that getting much cred? Uh, actually, I mean, it has a, an outside shot at winning uh, the Screenplay Award, um, but that's probably about it. Uh, Judy Dench has already won, and Kate Blanchett uh, seems like the surest thing there is to, to beat her. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. with the controversy going around about Woody Allen, do you see that affecting Kate Blanchett's odds this year? No, I mean, there was, a, there was a time where people sort of were talking about, you know, whether voters might think that, you know, a vote for Kate Blanchett is a vote for Woody Allen. Um, but Kate Blanchett's handled the whole controversy very, very well, sort of, you know, distancing herself from it. And I mean, I just can't see her losing. Um, yeah. Woody Allen himself, though, I, I will not win. Oh, no. That's your, that you're, you're calling that, are you? Yeah, he's not going to win. I mean, he doesn't even go. He's never been. Um, and... Uh, a vote for Woody Allen specifically is definitely a vote for Woody Allen, so right. I think people will probably resist that. Yeah. So it doesn't get much gayer than an Oscar pool, and I know after being slaughtered in the Golden Globes, I'd like to know uh, who else I should be voting for. So let's talk about Best Picture. Best Picture is actually, um, interestingly enough, uh, uh, you know, quite a race. Normally we know for sure, like last year it was Argo, the year before it was The Artist, we all knew. But this year it's, it's sincerely a three-way race between uh, 12 Years a Slave, Gravity, and American Hustle. Um, I personally, if, if I had to tell you what to do, I'd, I'd tell you to vote for 12 Years a Slave. Um, but I, either of those films um, could upset it, so hmm. it's a tough call. So um, uh, <laughs> what are the closest races of this year's award season? I mean, other than Best Picture, uh, Best Supporting Actress is actually really interesting because um, Lupita Nyong'o, who's mm -hmm. the young actress from 12 Years a Slave, um, and Jennifer Lawrence uh, for American Hustle have sort of split all the prizes. Um, so it could really be either or. Um, the only thing is that if Jennifer Lawrence wins, uh, she'll be at 23 years old. She'll have two Oscars back to back, right. which has you know, never happened before. And maybe voters might be like, do we really want to give her you know, two before she's 25? So. I don't know, I mean, but it's definitely uh, a tough call, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. I know I'd love to see those two duke it out. And uh, what about Best Actress? What are you thinking? Uh, Kate Blanchett. I think that's pretty much a done deal. Um, yeah. I mean, people 
since ever since that that movie came out, people have been you know talking about it as just this overwhelming you know masterpiece of acting and and even with the Woody Allen stuff, I, I don't think that's going to change that. Yeah. Um, and how about some of the ones that I always have to guess at in the pool, like best sound mixing? Like I have no idea who to vote for there. What do you think? I mean, this year's pretty easy with all those technical categories. Just, just click off of Gravity. It's gonna, it's gonna win pretty much every single one. Um, sound mixing, sound editing, visual effects, uh, cinematography, film editing, all those Gravity. So that makes your life easier. Mm -hmm. And where will you be watching the Oscars from? Um, I actually don't know, but um, my hotel is just around the corner from the actual Oscars, so maybe just here with a couple friends and a couple bottles of wine. So no formal attire? No, no. Uh, I actually, I, I attended the Oscars last year, um, which was amazing, but um, this year I'm going to definitely uh, do the opposite of that, which is watch them in pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good plan.